So guys, this is the... I don't know how I'm really going to do this video. So first off, if you have watched up to this point, I really can't thank you enough. All the likes, everything, just you've been showing these videos each and every day until we've got to this point just really means a lot. So if you want the rest of the story, so I guess the game has two endings. This is one, and then it keeps going. So I hope you enjoy the video. This is, even though it's called ending in the thumbnail and everything, it's definitely, I'm going to keep going past this. But since it is the end of this story, uh, yeah, that's what it is. So, all right, guys, I love you. You're the best audience ever. And let's get this. Many miles we walk. Hmm. Many things we learn. So we got Dutch's key to a hidden chest. I guess as we run into Dutch there, if we're going to that. Only just to burn. That's the way it's part of the game just feel. I mean, this this has to be the end. Oh, hold on, what's going on here? That's the way There's a good man within you, but he is wrestling with a giant. Really sorry for you, son. It's a hell of a thing. Our time is pretty much past. May the wind be at your back. Good fortune to your head. I wanted to put it in cinematic mode, but I can't. It's just kind of stuck in this, uh, Semi cinematic mode, I guess. That's the way That's the way You saved my life. You're a good man. You know, all that ever mattered to me was loyalty. It's all I ever believed in. Maybe it's a sign, Arthur. Try. Try to do the good thing. like uh, just kind of sitting back and watching this with you guys as well I just wonder what's about to go down here get them bags packed up quick Miss Grimshaw come on all of you well we're doing our best hurry we ain't got long hurry we just got plenty of time Micah oh. We all need to have a little chat. Black Long, you're back. Hooray. <coughs> I just saw Agent Milton, Dutch. Abigail shot him. She's okay. Not that you care too much about that. You rats. All of you. Seems old Mike was pretty close with Milton. What the hell are you talking about, cowpoke? You talked. That's a goddamn lie. Dutch. Dutch. Think of the future. Milton told me. And you believe him, Black Lung? You believe him? It all makes sense now. No. It damn well doesn't. Dutch. Think. Dutch. Be practical now. Dutch! John? You left me! You left me to die! My boy, I didn't have a choice. John, I didn't... You! I didn't have a choice. You left me! All of you, 
You pick your side now because this is over. All oh, them years, Dutch. For this snake. <laughs> oh, be quiet, cowpoke. Be quiet. You live in the clouds. No. You be quiet, Mr. Bell, and put down your gun. There's Pinkerton's coming fast. <laughs> now! <laughs> Who amongst you <laughs> is with me? And who is betraying me? Bell, I'll be here. Think. Think for yourself. <coughs> He's lying. He's lying. Put your guns down! God damn it! Move! You ready, John? Yeah. Everyone get down! I wouldn't die, would he? <laughs> well, John's alive after all. Nice. I was worried about that. I was like, that doesn't make any sense, you know? Alright, I got my bolt action back, so... Nice. Yo, this mission is nuts. They're running into the cave. Chase them down. Go, go. After them. I want that bastard dead. Stay with me, Arthur. There they Those are. bastards left me for dead. Seems that's what they do now. Come on, Arthur. With me. Michael was the rat, John. Milton told me. <coughs> we should have killed him months ago. Let's keep moving. Are they just over here? Oh, they're all around us. See, you're dead now. <coughs> Are you all right, Arthur? I'm with you. Keep going. Hey, hold it right there. I don't think Arthur's going to make it through this cave. He even feels more sluggish, what about too. The money? It's in here! There's no time! We'll have to come back! They're right on us, Arthur! Come on! I want them out of there now! Dead or alive! You understand? <laughs> there we go. There we go, safe. So's Jack. Where are they? It was Sadie. The Copperhead landed. Thank you, brother. I want you to not look back. Like I said. Oh wow. You're both Arthur, we gotta go. Come on, ride. Yep. Getting chased by Dutch. Pinkerton's oh my god. Ahead. Look out. Come on, Arthur. Yeah. Oh wow. That's both Arthur. sides. Shit, they're on the road. Follow me. There's an army of these sons of bitches! Ah! Pinkerton's on the left! They'll keep the others busy! Shit! They're everywhere! This way! Right, Arthur, right! Yo, I'm trying! Go, go, go! Oh, wow. Almost skipped that back today. Oh. Why my horse? my revive at hold on what in the world my horse dead no way 
I didn't get this far with my damn horse to have that happen. I can't believe my horse is dying. I'm Let's so go. pissed right now. Well, what about the money? Abigail gave me the key. I head down there. I'm dead in five minutes. I got a family. That's more important. Uh, maybe you're right, but... <clears throat> you want the money? You head down. I gotta go to my family. I'm gonna help John get to safety. Arthur, Forget the money. Just make... I'm coming with you. I'm gonna get you out of this bullshit if it's the last goddamn thing I do. Thank you. Oh shit! Let's go. Oh, that was a good choice to make. We okay, need cool. To find ground. Don't worry about them. They'll just be going back for the money. We need to get the hell out of here. But it's funny, the first mission of the game you pretty much saved John. And well, not one of one of the first at least. And now we're helping him again in the end, I guess. Why is he stopping? Shit! <sighs> well, let's get up this cliff. Yeah. Here you go. Come on, Arthur. Keep pushing. Look out! Going on the rocks. Oh my God! I can't move any faster. Shit! Get behind the rock! Damn it! off the pursuers. Oh yeah. yeah. Let me just get right on that. That's the only gun Let's I go. have is this Come one. On. Take we need to get out of here. Let's go. Come on, let's go. You go. Keep pushing, Arthur. No. <coughs> no. I think I've pushed all I can. Come on. You go. We ain't got time for this. Not now. We ain't both gonna make it. Go. Now. I'll hold them off. It would mean a lot to me. Please. There ain't no more time for talk. Go. Arthur. Go to your family. Arthur! Get the hell out of here and be a goddamn man. You're my brother. I know. I know. God damn you bastards! What am I supposed to do against this? Oh, here's more. Here we go. Close range action, finally. I'm getting overrun. Are they just invincible to bullets or something? Am I just not... I don't know what kind of gun this is. I haven't really used it so much. There we go, nice. Oh my god, they circled us. They circled me. Rat! You rat! I'm a survivor, Black Lung! A survivor! That's all there is! Living and dying! Do this. Break free. 
Come on, I'm blocking. Come on, bring it on. You lost. There we go. Get some counter hits in there. Get him, Arthur. Already beaten you. Come on. I just punched him real. Oh, oh. You ain't no man. Yo, I'm like. Hope you're ready for hell. Yo, he's countering everything. Die. No, you don't. No, you don't. <laughs> Still got a little fight in you, have you, boy? Get off me, bitch. I didn't like Mike in this entire game, so I guess it's rather fitting. There we go. You ain't killing me, bitch. You're scum, Hacker. I've countered everything now. Let's go. This is where it ends for you. Can't you see? I've won. This is a weird, like, fight sequence because it's just, it lasts for so long. Block. Block. There we go. Alright, break free. There we go. All there is. Winning and losing. Oh, there's a gun. Oh shit. Oh, black lung. Small crawl. You ain't gonna reach that gun. You ain't. You lost, my sick friend. You lost. Oh, he's walking. Damn. Despite my best efforts to the country, it turns out I've won. You're gonna drag me away, I got a feeling. Right when I grab it. God damn you. Oh, wow. Is that Dutch? It is over. Oh, my goodness. Now, Arthur, it's over. Oh, Dutch. He's right. You know it, and I know it. He's sick. He's dying. He's talking crazy. Come on, Dutch. Let's go, buddy. We made it. We won. Come on. John made it. He's the only one. The rest of us. No. But I tried. In the end, I'm dead. Come on. Let's go. We can make it. Come on, Dutch. Come on.
Come on! That was close. Too close. We brought that trouble on ourselves. By we, you mean me. The one me who went and shot him. Seemed like he deserved shoot. I'm sure he did. But I've been thinking, ain't it about time you stop being the man making them decisions? I'm trying. Are you? I think so. We gotta find some place to lay low. Keep quiet. <sighs> Maybe Dutch was right. Maybe we should have just gone to Tahiti. Is that it with you? Tahiti, you're killing? Come on, John. Please, try. Try what? We gotta live somewhere for more than just a few weeks. Okay. Let's see what we can find in... in Strawberry. What do you know about Strawberry? I know they like good, honest, hard-working men a whole lot more than angry killers. So make yourself good and honest. I am always honest. Maybe not always good. I'm always honest. My whole life I've been surrounded by fools with moral codes. Here's the moral code. Look out for folks. Stop trying to act like some hero in a book. What do you know about heroes and books? My reading's getting pretty good. Well, read different books then. The books is Jack's. And, well, maybe he's doing most of the reading, but still. You're a bad influence on your mother, boy. Boy? Sorry, sir. What was that? I said you're a bad influence on your mother with your books. Which books was that? You know, that dime novel of Boy Calloway and the Men from the Moon or whatever it was. I'll do my best to find better reading material, Pop. Is that what you like, then? Western tales? Boy. What's that, sir? Do you enjoy tales of the Wild West? Not so much. Anymore. I've been reading about knights. You know, of the round table. The king. What's his name? There's King Arthur. And there's Sir Lancelot. And the Lady Guinevere. And a whole lot of others. Those names. I kind of like them. You know what? So do I. Can't believe it just transitioned like that. I didn't know what to expect. That was a hell of an ending, though. I don't know if that was... I mean, it's like the ending, but it's not. I don't know. Now we're playing as John, I guess. Which makes sense, because the last mission was called Red Dead Redemption, and since he's the main character in the first one, it's like him becoming 
the main character, so I don't know. Maybe the free roam and everything is with him. And we lost our horse. We lost everything. I can't believe that. The game has been amazing. I, I don't know. This is, uh, this is like some next level storytelling. It really is. I bet that sign says strawberry, don't it? I got a good feeling about this place. Been a long time. Man, the cinematic view right here is so nice. Why don't you pull up just here? I'm gonna go see what kind of good, honest work I can find. Grave digging or polishing some rich fella's boots or some such. Me too. See if me and the boy can find some laundry work or something. Dang, it feels weird controlling somebody else now. I ain't missed speak with the shopkeeper, alright. Help you, son? I'm hoping I can help you. I saw the help wanted sign outside. Sure, but uh, you're a bit old to be stacking groceries and running errands, ain't you, son? Well, uh, I ain't too proud to do nothing. Mm. As long as it's honest. And it pays. <laughs> Time's hard, Mr. Uh, uh, Milton. Jim Milton. Mm. Yeah, my wife and I and our boy. We was robbed mm. a few days ago. Lucky to get out with our lives, we was. Now, uh, well, we need money. Uh, there's bad folk out there. Yeah, <laughs> tell me about Not it. a wagon by any chance? Uh, sure. Well, then maybe you could run some goods up to Pronghorn Ranch for me. You know, uh, head west past Owen Gila, then follow the road north, lead you right there. I, I don't know where that is, but I'm sure I can find it. I can leave right now if you'd like. It's Getty's place. Fine fella. Uh, where's the wagon? It's just outside. Um, you know, I should go tell my wife, and then I can come back and get loaded. Well, my boys can load you up while you go find your wife. Okay. Alright, let's go meet her. So the one thing I was checking in the menu and stuff, it now in the character slot, let me show you. It now has John. Apparently he's like the perfect weight and everything. That's different. Under the story though. Well, you can't save game, okay. Progress. Still shows Arthur at least. So it's like it's intertwined with the... I guess this is gonna tie in how the first game begins, you know? Thank you, Doctor. Hey, <laughs> how you getting on? I well, found some work. Me too. Delivering goods out to some ranch. Cleaning a doctor's surgery. Fine living. It is, John. Oh, it is. This is the way to it. I'll take your word on that. What do you suggest now? I'll stay here. Get on with the work. You deliver them goods and then collect me. Okay. And John, I love you. Don't you forget that. Not ever now. I won't. <laughs> I return to your wagon. I'm gonna tell you, like, it's rare that a game ends and then keeps going, just like. Load her up pretty good, Milton. I don't know, that's good. crazy. You ride slow now. Gettys don't want his goods damaged. Of course. We spent so long with Arthur, man. I don't know, like, what would have happened if you went for the money. I'm guessing it's, uh... Oh, something. Oh, something. Oh, uh, no, but I feel West like... Past he did a great job with his story. The whole north. thing was amazing. Okay. Oh, shit. Hold on. Hold on! Oh my god, what just happened? But yeah, man, I, I feel like, uh... I didn't like Dutch much throughout the story, like his character in general. But I felt like they did a great job with making him kind of... hesitant at the end. Like he was... He didn't know what to do, you know? So he just like left Micah behind. We don't know what happened with Micah. But maybe we'll run into them somehow in this epilogue. 
I've read that the epilogue, the two-part thing, is gonna have a ton of missions, so I don't know. We're uh we're in it to the end, guys. O and Jill. We go past it and north. The seamless transition, though, of like a few years later, I don't know, that's, uh... I was not expecting that at all. I wasn't expecting credits or anything, because it was still kind of early on, but... I don't know, I feel like... I don't know, I just didn't, I didn't think we were transitioning to him. But it's cool, though, because, you know... <laughs> getting, like, flashbacks from playing the first game back in 2010, so... This setting does feel like it's a lot longer, like the a few years have passed, or whatever I'm trying to say. It's definitely different. That didn't sound good. Was my will coming loose or something when I ran over that rock? Now we go north. I kind of want to go back and like watch when I watch the play like the start of the game again just to see the interactions between Dutch and everybody else again because at the time I didn't really take I was trying to take it in as best I could but it was like I want to see it again just to like notice more details I mean because I bet you there'll be like telltale signs of you know Dutch going bad even before he actually appears to go bad maybe. I just wonder when Arthur got tuberculosis. I mean, like, I, I wonder if it was from the guy that coughed on him when you were getting the money and all that. This must be it. All right, we're here. Nice. Pretty chill mission to start off with. Running an errand for somebody. You Mr. Gaddies? No, sir. I'm Mr. Dickens, his overseer. Jim Milton. I'm delivering some supplies from the store in Strawberry. Okay. This is quite a place. Yes, it's beautiful. Oh. They send everything? Yeah, I think so. So, partner, your boss, he looking for hands? Why? You looking for work? Yeah. My wife, we was in business with her family and turned sour. It's a long story. Yeah, I don't know. Married hands, it's a lot of trouble. I'm a good worker. My wife, Agatha, even our boy, Lancelot, we'll all work. Big man around, boy? Get the hell out of here. <laughs> now, that ain't very neighborly. And threatening us is neighborly. <laughs> hey, mind if I enjoy one of these apples? Put that down. <laughs> Delicious. Oh, <laughs> when's uh, Boss Man gonna sell this place, boy? I don't think there's any plans for that. You boys want a drink? <laughs> it's some fine scotch whiskey. Put that down. Put that down. Oh, these supplies for the season. Get off the farm. Come on. <laughs> we know when we're not wanted. Get down from there. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Bye, bud. <laughs> Come back here. Take that horse if you need it. <laughs> All right, I'm going. Oh, check this horse out. That's my damn wagon. You ain't getting away with that. Do you have any guns or anything? No, I don't. Hey, what is that? Melee. A light. Hey! 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 This is your last chance to come out of this breathing! Get on with you! No! Whoa, whoa! You can't take a joke, mister! Tell Gaddy to take that offer off Mr. Abel, or we get a whole lot more funny! <laughs> Yeah, they're gonna be a problem. Guaranteed. Who just plays a joke on you like they're gonna steal your entire 
thing, you know, like, what kind of joke is that? I like how John's like living an honest life and everything now. No longer robbing trains and stuff with the fam. Hey! Thank you. Milton, isn't it? Those boys are out of Laramie, work for Mr. Abel. Thank you. Don't mention it. Listen, I ain't looking for no charity or nothing, but I was serious. You got work? We'll work. I can do anything. We got... We got robbed ourselves a few days back. We ain't got married hands here. You're married. I work harder than any one of them. I'm real honest, and my wife, even though she's got fancy thoughts, She'll work. Seem kind of desperate. What trouble you in? No trouble, sir. Aside from her brother. He tricked us and robbed her of her inheritance. We're good people. We'll work. Even Lancelot. <laughs> what does Mr. Gettys need with a boy? Just another mouth to feed. Just... Please give us a chance. I can handle myself, okay? You know that already. Yeah. Makes me wonder just who would have robbed you. But... We'll give you a chance. I'll let Mr. Gettys know when him and his wife return tomorrow. Thank you, Mr. Dickens. I'll go get my wife. Nah, no, you stay here. It's getting late. We'll go get her in Strawberry. We'll bring her here tomorrow. We need you around in case any more of them Laramie boys turns up. There's a, a little cabin out yonder past the ranch house. Things work out, y'all can stay there. Thank you. You'll not regret this. Yep. Go get yourself settled. We'll have work for you tomorrow when Mr. Gettys returns.